So you're ready for Tunisian crochet. Outstanding. I've got my three possible hooks. The traditional Tunisian hook. This is a size I, by the way. And a Tunisian hook with a cord. The cord lets you make really wide pieces. This one, I think, is a K. And then I've got my improvised. My little improvised Tunisian hook, which is actually a regular crochet hook with a foam bead attached to the end as the, to act as the stopper. I know it has this little wide piece, but trust me, these things work just fine too. If that's all you have, then go for it. But I guess for this video, I'll be good. I'll use the traditional Tunisian hook. You do need a stopper on one end, no matter what you use. Because in Tunisian, you're stacking up stitches, you're stacking up live loops, just like knitting. And you need a stopper or they'll all fall out the other side. The good news is Tunisian starts in the regular way, with a slip knot and a base chain. So I'm going to make a base chain of, let's say, 20 stitches. I'll get this done and I will meet you there. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, there's my base chain. I'm going to do what's called the foundation row. Sometimes in patterns it's called the setup row. And I need to I need to push into every single one of these chain stitches push in my with my hook, yarn over the hook, draw up a loop and leave the loop on the hook because we're going to stack up a bunch of live loops. Notice I start with the one, of course, one loop on my hook, go in through first chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, two, go into the next chain, yarn over, draw up a loop and leave it. Yarn over, draw up a loop, continue that way, one, two, three, four, until I've worked through every chain stitch to the end. Again, I'm going to make you skip ahead. I'll meet you there. Here we go. Loop back out. Going through the very last chain stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, and now that's the forward pass. And you've worked from where you started back to the end where there's a tail. And that's your forward pass with all your live loops. Don't they look pretty? Notice how mine are very loose. In Tunisian, loose stitching is best. If you tighten up, you'll just get more curl and it'll be a lot harder for you to work through these loops on the return pass, which we're going to do next. Remember, loose is key. To make a return pass, we'll yarn over, draw through just one, and that gives us the edge. After the edge is done, you yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over, draw through two loops, all the way back to the beginning. Yarn over and draw through just one to make the edge. Now, yarn over and draw through two and repeat that until you've worked all of these loops off. This is the return pass. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two. That is my first return pass. That's my foundation row. For the next row and all the other rows, you work the same way. And it's very similar, but we don't have a foundation chain anymore. We have these rows. And this is where you put your hook in to draw up the next line of loops. We're going to make use of these vertical bars. Every single stitch we worked in our foundation row left a vertical bar first one, I already have a loop through. That's my starting loop. 
here's my second one right here and you push through from the right to the left crossing in front of the work yarn over pull that loop through and leave it on and do that for every vertical bar to the end you push through from the right to the left yarn over draw up a loop here I am at the very end I've got one two three four vertical bars left push through from the right to the left yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and draw up a loop my last one I don't know if you can tell in this video but for me all of my last vertical bars are always a little bit slanted they're not quite vertical so you have to get good at seeing them but they are there and you can't forget them push through yarn over draw up a loop that's the next forward pass forward passes are always working towards the left. Now we're going to make a return pass back towards my right hand and they'll work the same way. Yarn over, draw through one to make the edge. Yarn over, draw through two loops. Yarn over, draw through two loops, repeat. Back to your right hand. Yarn over, draw through just one. Now yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two. all the way back to the other end. This is Tunisian Simple Stitch and you repeat this row with a forward pass and a return pass until your piece is long enough. Yarn over draw through two, yarn over draw through two, yarn over draw through the last two. End up with one loop on your hook. Tunisian curls. It does. The way you combat the curl is you stitch really loose, maybe with a really large hook, and put pick up and put edgings along the sides. But don't be upset if yours is curling, because Tunisian curls it's a lot like knitting that way. Okay, I'm gonna put a few more rows in on this piece. I'm going to make it a little bit longer because I think that it's always easier to see what's going on once the piece has some length to it. And I'll meet you there. Here's the piece I've been working on. I'm in the forward pass of my fifth row and you can you can count very easily in Tunisian. Each vertical bar makes one row. One, two, three, four, and I'm working on my fifth. I think it's easier to see what happens, how how you make the Tunisian Simple Stitch once you've got a little bit to work with. These are those vertical bars. They stack right on top of each other. For my next stitch, I push in from the right to the left in the front of the work, through that vertical bar, yarn over, draw up a loop, and continue drawing up a loop through every vertical bar all the way to the end. Here I am with all my active live loops. My forward pass is done. I'm going to yarn over, draw through one to make the edge, and then yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, repeat, back to the beginning. Yarn over, draw through one, that's the edge. Yarn over, and draw through two and draw through two and if you repeat the forward pass and the return pass then you've got it you can do Tunisian, you can do Tunisian simple stitch then of course I want you to run out and learn Tunisian knit stitch and Tunisian pearl stitch and Tunisian cabling and Tunisian lace and Tunisian everything because Tunisian is a lot of fun and you can make some really cool neat effects 
with a Tunisian hook that looked completely different from traditional crochet. Hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. I hope it becomes your new thing. There we go.